What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Gibby Breaks Tech. I'm Gibby, and today we're going to be going over how to build dynamic pages in React. The first thing I want to go over is the API I'm going to use. I'm going to use Free2Game. It's a free-to-play games database API. Uh, it's just a database with a bunch of free-to-play play games on it. It's updated quite regularly. Um, like I said, it's free. All you have to do is go to rapidapi.com, make a free profile. So you can use this free API for free. You just need the API key that you get for making a rapid API uh, profile. So I'll go over the code real quick. Uh, this is our app.js. It has a use effect that makes our API call with Axios, which sets the response to our game state, which then uh, is an array. And we take the array and we map it. And we map it to our game component. And our game component looks like this. It just takes the game and it takes the game thumbnail and the game title and displays it just like this. So each game has its own picture and its own title. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to dynamically uh, give each and every single one of these games its own page uh, without hard coding them. And so this is how we're going to do it. First things first, we're going to go to our source folder. And we're going to create a folder called pages. Uh, in our pages folder, we're going to make a home page dot JS. I'm going to make it a functional component. You can make it whatever kind you want. Uh, this is going to look exactly how our app is. Our, our app dot JS looks right now. So we're going to steal the imports, save some time. We're just going to copy and paste it over. Uh, steal the use effect and the state. Put it in there. Uh, we'll steal the return, the div. Put it in there. And instead of app, we'll customize it to home. And the only thing is we need to change is the components. We need to make it uh, reach the components file. So we add a little dot there. Uh, so that's it for the home page right now. And we'll go back to our app. And we'll give rid of the use effect, state. Um, and instead of components, we're going to import pages. We'll import home page from dot slash pages. Spell it right. Home page. Voila. And in the return and the div, we're going to put the home page. And our app should look exactly the same. No issues. No nothing. Uh, now we want to create the game page. What we're going to do is go back to the pages, get another file called, you guessed it, game page. JS. Uh, this one, of course, is going to look very similar to our home page. Uh, we just need to add some changes to it. So we're going to import, use state, use effect. Uh, we're going to import Axios. And I'm just going to steal this use effect and state. Save some time. Uh, so game page. Copy pass that there. And instead of const games, we're going to make it game. And instead of set games, we're going to make it game. Uh, we got to change it here in the Axios response and make it set to game. Uh, we need to make this get a specific game. So we need a different API call. So I'm going to go back to rapidapi.com. I'm going to take the specific games API URL with the parameters, copy pasta. And we're going to pasta it there. So now when this makes the 
the call. It'll use these parameters in the header and get this specific game. Uh, so we want to display that information down here. So I'm going to make a div and call it, oh, not class name. We're going to call it game page. Why not? Uh, game page is going to have the image. The source will be the thumbnail, game dot thumbnail. Uh, it will have the title. So game dot title in this H1. And then we'll add the description in there. Why not? So P tag with the game dot description. So I'd show you what this looks like, but we can't access our game page right now. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go to our app. And we're going to uh, import something called React Router. Uh, I'll do that now before I get ahead, of, get ahead of myself. So we'll split the terminal. npm install React Router DOM. Uh, what this npm package is going to do is going to let us uh, navigate the DOM. Uh, navigate our page pretty much and navigate between pages so we need to import route and routes from react router dom now while we're at it we're also going to import our game page of course game page from game page all right, so now we need to make some routes. So what we're going to do in our app here is we're going to go routes. And in our routes, we need to make a route, a specific route with the path of backslash. What this will do is will take us to the home page. So our element is going to be, of course, the home page. So close that off. We can get rid of the home page down there. So now we need to make a route for the game page. So we can do route again. And the path will be um, backslash game. And the element, of course, will be game page. Not passing any parameters or anything. Game pay. Oh, that's why I messed up the greater than symbol. We got game page. We'll close it off. So now we still can't get to our game page, and that's because we need to go to the index and import browser router. Browser router from React Router. And what this is gonna do is we're going to wrap our app in the browser router to allow us, us to navigate around the app. We'll save that like that. And now if we go to our page here and we go backslash games, uh, it's just a game. It'll take us to our game page. But the problem we have here is that our game page, uh, we're only getting the same game. We want to get a page for each specific game. So first off, we're going to need to go to our game component. Uh, right, scratch that. We're going to go to our, we're going back to our app. So we're going to go to our app and in the game page route we're going to need to set some parameters and how you set parameters is you do a colon and then you give it a name so game id so we're going to use the game id to navigate to the game page 
And so we're going to use the game ID in our game page to uh, get the specific game we want. But first, we need to go to our game component. And what we're going to do is import, import link from React Router DOM. And what link is, is basically the same thing as an anchor uh, tag, except it uses uh, React Router DOM to help us uh, navigate the page. So we go uh, two, and the two is gonna equal curly brackets with back ticks. And the back ticks will go to slash game. And the slash game will take in uh, some JavaScript. So we have the back ticks for the JavaScript. And the JavaScript will be game.id. So the uh, state here, we're going to access the state and we're going to get the ID from each game added to our link. So now if we go back to our page, go back to our page here. So now each game has its own link. So if we click on one of these links, we get back to the game page. And if you see in the browser here, uh, we have game slash uh, game ID, which is 517, uh, PUBG 516. But we're getting uh, the same game over and over again. So what we need to do is go to our game page. And in our game page, we need to import a custom hook from React Router. So we're going to use the hook of params from React Router DOM. And we're going to come down here. We're going to make a const. And the const name is going to be game ID. Equals use params. And we have to name it game ID because in our app.js, that is the parameter we set. So the parameter we set here has to be the same as the use params. Uh, in the game page. Uh, we still can't access the game because in our ID, in our parameters, uh, your API call might be different, but in this one, we have the ID right here. So we need to set this ID to game ID. And now, if we go back to our page here and we click on Lost Ark, we get Lost Ark. We click on PUBG, we get PUBG. But when you deploy it, you're going to run into an issue. Um, so let me, I, so I deployed this to Netlippy. I'm going to paste it here. We're going to go and say, if you wanted to send this to a friend, we'll click on it here. We'll copy this and then say, if you wanted to send it to someone, enter, you get a 404. That's because in our use effect, uh, it's taking the parameters of the page, but the parameters haven't been passed. So what we need to do is we need to go to our public folder and we make a need, make a file called redirects underscore redirects. And what this file is going to do is when uh, you navigate directly to that page, it'll first go to the index HTML, and then it will navigate to the game page. Uh, so I'm going to deploy that and I'll show you the result. But one thing I forgot, of course, uh, in our game page, in the use effect, we need to add the dependency of game ID. Uh, we're going to get an error. So this way, every time the game ID changes, uh, the game list function will be called in the use effect. Okay. So I'm going to deploy it again. Uh, we're going to get rid of these. Uh, paste it in there. We go to the app. We go to Diablo Immortal. The page opens up correctly. We copy the link. We paste it in there. 
and it opens up again. We'll check it. We'll check a different one. Forge of Empires. Sounds great. Paste it in there and it opens up again. So that works. So now you're able to share it uh, through social media or with your friends or contacts, whatever you please. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope I went over enough uh, to help you make dynamic pages and react uh, for your projects. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.